Okay, we're going to go ahead and look at some graphs and see how we can use graphs to help us. The key thing is that I graph one side of the equation as uh, one line in Desmos as one graph and the other side of the equation as another line. And just to help us see this, I'm going to mark this right hand side of the graph. Uh, the left hand side, the V-shape, I'm going to leave in black. The right hand side here, I'm going to mark it in blue. So I have an ability to compare the left side, which is now black, to the right side, which is now blue. So I'm looking for, since this is a less than, I'm looking for where it is below. So where's the V below the blue line? Well, I'm going to highlight that part of the graph where the V is below the blue line. And it's this one piece of the graph there. Now, technically, since this does not have an equal to, my intersections, which are the important parts, are there and there, and they should be open circles. Well, when I go to describe what's going on with the domain or the X values of this yellow region, they start at negative two, and then they stop at positive four. So they go from negative two to positive four, and since this is one continuous piece, I can have one statement, because I'm basically saying my X values between negative two and positive four are all part of that yellow highlighted region of the graph. Now, uh, it is true, usually we'll write an inequality like this, but it is true that you could have also given the same answer by saying I'm going to start at negative two and to four in interval notation. There would have been nothing wrong with that, but generally speaking for inequalities, we leave the variables in there. Uh, for number two, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing where we mark one side of the graph in blue. You might want to pause the video and uh, check on the answer yourself, but we'll work through it. Um, when you're doing this one, we're looking for where it is less than negative four. So the part of the graph where the black is below the blue would be there and there. Two separate pieces. Since this does have an equal, uh, my endpoints technically should be closed circles. So when I go to uh, describe this, since there's two separate pieces of the graph, I'm going to have two separate parts to describe. I'm going to have an X is greater than or equal to one because of the closed circle or the original equal to sign. And I'm also going to have an X is less than or equal to negative seven, once again, because of the closed circle there at negative seven or the original equal to there. So it's greater than or equal to negative one, a positive one, less than or equal to negative seven. Now, since these are two different pieces, I cannot combine them in any way or try to use an and. So this is an or graph where I have one piece or another piece going in one direction to the right or a completely different direction to the left. One more time for interval notation. I could describe those two pieces in interval notation. I'll put this in maybe a purplish pink or something. So uh, if I was talking interval notation, I'd be starting at one and going to infinity for this piece here. And then on the other end, I'd be starting at negative infinity and stopping at negative seven for this other piece. But uh, you would still have an or between them because they're two separate pieces. So just kind of connecting this to interval notation. But once again, the preferred way to do it for inequalities is the one that still has the variable with the x. That's what you'll see most times. Okay, number three is a little different. So on number three, I'm looking for where is the black line, the V, bigger than the blue line? Well, it's always bigger than the blue line, so the answer for number three should be all real numbers. Nothing beyond that. Um, it's just any possible answer. Then on number four, I have, um, let's see, the black V and then the blue line here, which is here. And I'll let y'all go ahead and pause your video and try and see if you can come up with that. Okay, what you should have been able to do is the how you were looking for the part where it was above. So that means uh, the V is above the blue line on both ends. Hopefully you realize that should technically be an open circle because you didn't have an equal. And then um, I'm going to also be able to describe this in two separate pieces. So one of my pieces will be um, X is greater than two, and my other piece will be x is less than negative two. And once again, anytime you have two different pieces of the graph, it's going to be an or.